and welcome on Belmont Journal, Belmont's new show and community update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Last spring, Anne-Marie Mahoney, Chair of the Capital Budget Committee, and Jenny Fallon, Chair of the Long-Term Capital Planning Committee, went to various meetings of our town government and explained the idea of a new comprehensive capital committee. Today, as the idea is gaining ground, they are here to tell us more about it. Welcome. Thank you. So Jennifer, you take it away. Okay. Um, well, the Long-Term Capital Planning Committee was formed last fall and we met through the year um, trying to think about how to establish a better planning process for capital investments that the town needs to make and, and maintaining its capital assets. And there were several things that we thought needed to be done. One is to make an inventory of the capital assets that is detailed enough and kept up to date annually to be used as a planning tool for the committees and for town meeting and for everybody who wants to know what the situation is with regard to the capital assets and their status and their condition and um, what kind of investment we really need to make to keep them up to date. So that's one thing. And then the other thing we were talking about was what committee ought to be charged with long-term capital planning. The Capital Budget Committee, which I've sat on now for many years, and Emory is the chair of and has also sat on for many years, considers capital uh, requests annually to recommend to town meeting. And um, we also are charged with providing a five-year capital plan, if you will, the, the needs that have been expressed by department heads over the next five years um, in the report that we make to town meeting annually. But the Capital Budget Committee has never really been folded into the process of thinking about the larger capital assets. Um, we do look at the roads and the requests from the utilities every year, but the buildings and you know just how we try to um, coordinate all of the capital investment in the town has never really been under one aegis. We thought that that was probably wise. <laughs> um, and so, we have considered whether we ought to have two committees, a long-term committee and a short-term committee, but decided that just to staff the committee and to use the staff time wisely and be efficient, one committee makes more sense. So our recommendation is to essentially expand both the charge and the membership of the current capital budget committee to include um, a very detailed five-term, sorry, five-year plan for capital investment and a longer term, more general 30 year plan in its report every year. And to be engaged in thinking about not just the requests from the town departments every year, but also all of the buildings and all of the capital needs at once and try to make a plan for how we should move forward and what kind of resources we're gonna need in the future to fund these things. And that's a, you know, as we know, that's a struggle every year. So. The idea is to have a new committee, which would consist of people from various boards, the Board of Selectmen, the Warrant Committee, the School Committee, the Capital Budget Committee, the um, Energy Committee, and then also have a more robust number of moderated appointed citizens who are not necessarily coming from other committees, um, which will expand the number of people who are aware of these things and also give us a broader base to do the work. Because frankly, right now, committees in the town are formed often really substantially from representatives from other boards. So we're all on more than one. <laughs> Some of us are on three or four, and it gets to be hard to find people who wanna be the chairs and the secretaries of the committees, be the leadership, because we all have too many things on our plates. So expanding it to include more citizens, I think, um, is, you know, sort of makes that goal achievable, I hope. <laughs> um, and the charge would be to both take a longer look, take, to continue to recommend the annual investments to town meeting, but to take a longer look in addition to rely on the inventory, which we would oversee the staff in uh, providing for us and to um, start to talk more broadly with other boards about 
the resources that are going to be necessary to meet the needs. So, All right. So, so this is a not another committee. This will replace your current committees? Both of our committees, yes. It will, it will be sort of merge our committees, if you will. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. And it will allow the Capital Budget Committee to expand its responsibilities and its, its look ahead. You know, we spend all of our time like in the moment almost preparing for a June town meeting. Um, and we ask the questions at least among ourselves and of the department heads, okay, but what does this mean for the future? But we never really get there to what's the long range plan for this equipment or this building, you know, or this project, how does it fit into a longer plan? And that's what we really need to be doing to spend our money the best way we possibly can. Yeah. We need, for example, to look at each building and say, okay, where is it in its life cycle? Has it been renovated or completely redone in the last 10 years, 10 to 20 years? You know, what does it look like now? What can we do to extend its life? What do we need to do? And then where are we at the end of the life cycle? And how soon do we think this building is going to have to be really renovated or replaced? And, you know, how can we put those things in sequence so that we can see what's going to be necessary to spend? How will you prioritize the projects and what criteria will you use? Well, there's been a group looking at that and um, the criteria, I don't think are gonna change all that much. I mean, the Capital Budget Committee has had a fairly um, you know, reasonable look. I mean, it, one of the things that's always true is there is not enough money to find all of the things which really are urgent in some ways. Um, we've never been able to catch up. So what kind of criteria can we use? Right now, we're really sort of putting out fires, I would say. Um, we have to fund things that are absolutely in need of some assistance. Um, but what should we look at in the long term? I think um, health and safety are the priority, probably. Um, and then you come along with, you know, what is the town's policy, what, what are we doing to support the plans of the town, if you will. Um, and Emery, remind me of what else that was on that list. Um, yeah. yeah. So we, know we, are, we are aware of the budget struggle for the town after failing the override last April. Uh, what do we have and what is the stake that our public facilities are right now? Well, I think it, it isn't even about an override. You know, we were only going to get about $500,000 from that override. It's really about a broader discussion of what percentage of your town operating budget are you willing to spend on capital? And when we looked at other cities and towns around us, mostly towns, we found that they were spending anywhere from five to 10% of their annual budgets on capital. We're barely spending two or 3% in a good year. And a lot of that goes to roads. A big chunk of that goes to roads and sidewalks, which is good, not debating that. But we don't have a lot left over to be dealing with our buildings and keeping them in good repair. You know, and if you're not able to do that, you know, they start to fall apart. And then what was a simple project becomes a very big, expensive project. And we're trying to get ahead of that so that that doesn't keep happening. Preserving current assets is one of the criteria to use in thinking about how to spend the money. The other thing we have to look at, I think um, a little bit more with more focus is the borrowing policy. Um, how much of the town's debt capacity should we be really um, committing to maintaining our capital assets? And how does that add to uh, the use of annual operating money in terms of being able to do these things? Um, right now we are using some of the under the ceiling, <clears throat> under the cap, excuse me, um, borrowing capacity, but it's, it's pretty much all taken up for the next at least 10 years right. and beyond. And that doesn't leave us any leeway. So we really do have to take a significant look at where we are in terms of resources. The annual capital budget has been roughly the same for a very long time now. Um, and the cost of everything has gone up and there are more and more needs as we've fallen further and further behind in our ability to maintain the assets in a way that doesn't make them suddenly have these large expensive projects. And so the 
conjunction of those two things is making it impossible to really meet the needs right now. Even the final decision of the creation of this committee will be taken by the town meeting. Uh, yes. What do you want the residents to understand before town meeting members make their decision? Well, I think residents understand that they want the town to be as responsible and uh, efficient as possible in the use of its funds. So I think that what we want them to understand is we need as a town to make a larger commitment to the capital assets that we have. We want to present that picture and suggest that we need to move forward in a way that's more coordinated, um, thinking about the long-term life and life cycle of our capital assets. Um, and this is a good way to do it. It, it is a, it's, we're going to take it to town meeting because this is actually a change of the bylaw. The bylaw forms the capital budget committee, um, the town bylaws. And so we've written a draft of a proposal and we are gonna take that to various boards and committees this fall and go over it with a fine tooth comb with them to be sure that the language is to everyone's understanding the right language for the new bylaw. Um, and then we'll take it to town meeting in the spring. Thank you so much. Anything else you would like to add? I think this is a good move forward for Belmont. I think it's responding to a lot of citizen concerns about financial stability. Uh, and, you know, it, it's a good move for being responsible stewards of all of our infrastructure in town. Correct. Thank you so much for your work. And Anne-Marie and Jenny, thank you for coming on the show. We'll see thank you, you for having us. Welcome. Thank you.